Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to delete cores and RetroArch from your PC in 2022. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So at the moment of recording this video, I only currently know two ways of deleting cores on RetroArch on your PC. One is inside the RetroArch application, but it is a lot slower. And the second is going to be going through the file browser in Windows. I'll be showing both of these methods, but I'm going to be starting with the RetroArch method. So the first thing we need to do is come to our main menu here in RetroArch. And we're going to be loading up any core that you currently have downloaded that you want to delete. So let's say, for example, I want to delete my Stella 2014 or my Atari 2600 core. I simply load up the core. You should make sure it's loaded here on the bottom left. And then I'm going to come into the information tab here on a main menu. I'm going to be left clicking this. And here I'm then going to be coming to the core information, the very top option right here. At the bottom here, you will then see an option to delete this core. And here we can then easily remove the core from RetroArch inside of our desktop. So just like that, you can easily delete cores from RetroArch coming through this method. Although this can be slow and tedious, especially if you have a lot of different cores and you're experimenting with a lot of different things. The second method we're going to be doing is opening up a file browser. What we're going to be doing is coming down to our Windows button and simply clicking this open. And then we're going to be searching for RetroArch. Now I'm doing this on Windows 11, although the process should be very similar on Windows 10. All we need to do is come here to the RetroArch app. We're going to be right clicking and we're going to be opening up the file location. Or if you have the application folder, right here we're going to be looking for the retroarch data folder either of these will work once this opens up again we're going to be looking for the retroarch data folder we're then going to be looking for the cores folder which i have right here and here we should see all of the cores inside of our retroarch now if you're going to be deleting any of these i would first recommend closing down your retroarch application deleting these one by one or however many you want and then opening up retroarch again just to make sure there's no application conflicts or issues while running the application but just like that, you can remove RetroArch cores from inside the application or from the file browser inside Windows. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to delete cores on RetroArch and Windows in 2022. And I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly, Liz Lingus, and Q43OL. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. If you'd like to have your name shout out in future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button on any video on the channel. It would really help me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.